Hey everyone, today I am in the greenhouse. Um, it is about two week, two to three weeks before I'm gonna plant some things outside. So I'm actually gonna get some seeds started in here. Um, I'm gonna be preparing some Nagasaki long eggplants, Zucchino rampicante, Aonaga jibai cucumbers, and Murasaki purple peppers really fun diverse varieties um, and squash eggplants peppers typically you want to start them indoors I mean you can start them outdoors but I want to start them indoors and transplant them outside just so they're safe and this time I will definitely be sure to harden them up because I've learned them out, so. um, I already have some labels made out for each vegetable and I'm not gonna plant very many of them um, I'd say about three stocks for each one, just to not be too overwhelmed or just waste seed if anything. Um, you don't need to plant them that deep, I'd say about a quarter inch. Let's start with our Murasaki purple. Just make sure it's good for you. This is our purple peppers. Ooh. Got pretty cool seeds, look like peppers. Pop them right up. Let me just pull up them in. They like fade into the soil pretty well. Cool. Pretty straightforward. Some more sucky purple. And just be sure to line it up. As easy as that. We'll keep going though. <laughs> There's ants everywhere in the greenhouse. We have our Almaga Jabai cucumbers. And again, I'm only going to have them in here for about two weeks. Um, don't want them in the greenhouse longer than that because the temperatures in here or just the conditions in here kind of put the vegetables into overdrive so they grow really fast and they might actually meet their prime really early and I don't want that to happen so the sooner we get them out once they've germinated the better oh, Squash. It's really fun seeing all the different varieties there are of each type of vegetable. You know, they always sell like the same kind in the supermarket, so it kind of just limits you. But being able to grow your own vegetables just opens up a world of possibility. Zucchino rampicante. Another reason why I'm not planting so many, um, these have a pretty high germination rate, um, but when it comes to planting them outside, they produce a lot. Um, if they're pollinated properly, we have little pollination bags, you're gonna be pretty on top of that. Um, but still, yeah, we don't need that much to get the bounty of vegetables that we really need. doing our Nagasaki eggplant. I'm gonna plant quite a few varieties of eggplant, but we do have some already started. Sweet. 
um, a little water. And then, all right. And once these start growing, we will show you guys how we go about transplanting them. Take care.